Tina Thompson says she's ready for scuba gear after a series of breast cancer treatments. It's nothing, and now I know how to snorkel, so bring on the snorkeling. That's because oh Tina can relax holding her breath. This active breathing coordinator or ABC Deep Inspiration Breath Hold Unit is the key. It's also key to sparing her heart from the damage radiation beams can cause. If the heart is tucked up under the breast, then that radiation is going to be going through not only the breast but that sliver of heart, which right at that area there's uh, a coronary artery that is very important and, and could cause problems down the road if it, if it receives too much radiation. Radiation oncologist Dr. Jameson Stroud says the technology creates the space and time needed, distancing the chest wall from the heart. So what we can do is have the patient take a deep breath and the heart, which sits on the diaphragm, the diaphragm flattens out when you take a deep breath and the heart moves down and the chest wall moves forward and that allows that radiation to go through that space without clipping through the heart while they're holding their breath. Dr. Stroud says Mercy is leading the way in St. Louis with heart sparing left breast radiotherapy. Dr. Stroud says Mercy St. Louis is the only one offering it. It surprises me with all the hospitals here in town and all the cancer treatment centers that we have here in town with other hospital affiliations that we're the only ones that have. Diagnosed with stage two breast cancer, Tina had a mastectomy, removing her left breast. Following the mastectomy, she completed chemotherapy and radiation for left side breast cancer. She's now cancer free and thrilled to be demonstrating the ABC deep breath hold technique. When it cuts your wind off, you're like, oh, that's kind of cool because you're like, <gasps> Oh, okay, you can't breathe. Wow. It was really kind of fast. She goes, you're the only person that's ever said it was neat. I'm like, this is kind of cool. Once the patient breathes in enough air to inflate the lungs to a predetermined volume, she holds her breath. A small valve in the breathing tube closes and no additional air can enter her lungs. That's when the radiation beam is safely delivered, clearing heart tissue. Maybe a 10 or 20 second breath hold per beam process may take 15 to 20 minutes. Because the machine holds your breath for you, that could make a patient feel panicked. But the patient has control with the touch of a button. You're holding it, but it cuts your wind supply off until you let go of the button. You do have a, like a panic button. So the patient could breathe again. No worries. It's for my health and it's for my well-being. So I'm not scared. I can't explain it. I just, I wasn't scared. I wasn't anxious. Why wouldn't you want to minimize the heart damage to your heart? I mean, cancer's bad enough. I, I don't need heart damage on top of it, so. A low-tech heart sparing option is also used with this table attachment. The patient would lie face down and let gravity do the work. A volunteer member of the Mercy staff demonstrates the prone position on the prone breast board. The left breast hangs down away from the chest wall. A patient with very large breasts uh, where gravity plays more of a, uh, a role in their life in general, um, we have them lay face down on this prone positioning uh, table and that way we let the gravity help us out by pulling the breast forward away from the body and the right breast is held up out of the way and we essentially treat them from under the table with those same straight you know, tangential radiation beams. A technique that Dr. Stroud says is also uncommon in the St. Louis area, but not at Mercy. Not when studies show the increased risk of cardiac disease in long-term survivors of left-sided breast cancer. And they're checking your heart. I have an echocardiogram I have to go do next month. Okay. But Tina says she doesn't have a single worry because she put her heart in good hands. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger. Okay, all done.